This first one is important if you're hoping your studies increase your awareness and appreciation of the world. This is because the philosophies and principles behind naturopathy are really insightful, especially for young people because it can help you inform your own life principles. You're also exposed to other cultures by learning about other traditional medicine practices that originate from ancient cultures and other countries. The next two points are really important if you're hoping to gain confidence. As you gain knowledge in human biological science, chemistry, biochemistry, human nutrition and pathology, the confidence you gain from feeling as if you understand the human form and all its mechanisms and processes can be kind of life-changing. It made me feel more grounded and more in control of my body, as well as more connected to my existence and the value that I have in this world. The third point is for those of you that are hoping to figure out how best to get things to stick in your brain. Learning scientific subjects can be a steep learning curve, especially if you've never covered any material like that in the past. One of the best feelings I had was in figuring out the best way for my brain to consume that knowledge, understand it, and be able to relay it back to others. Once I got there, I felt so capable of understanding anything I set my mind to. Studying this degree really showed me my own capacity to take in knowledge and how hungry the brain really is to store that away for you. I figured out that you just have to learn how your personal brain likes to do that. I'm actually gonna make a video on this in future if it's something that you guys would like to see. Let me know because I would love to make a video on that for you guys. Number four is really fun if you're the philosophical type and I love talking philosophy so this point was really awesome for me. Learning herbal medicine in a systematic and scientific way shows you a really strange polarizing paradigm. One side is the objective aspect of plant constituents having or not having an effect on the human body. And this is called pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics, which is basically learning what a substance does to the body and what the body does to a substance. But the other side of the paradigm is the ethereal and even existential place it can kind of take you to. Because when you know for sure that plants, whether they be food or medicine, are doing things to the chemical processes in our body, it makes you think about how harmonious and balanced the ecosystem on earth is designed to be and how that plays out in our relationship as humans to plants whether that be as food or as medicine and how we are designed to inhabit this planet this planet is our home it made me fall in love with plants which is why i decided to study horticulture after i left my degree if you weren't aware that i quit my degree i've actually made a video about it and i'll pop that up here or here and i'll leave a link in the description box below this last point is really important for people who hope to find a lot of fun in their degree if as a child you loved to be out in nature and mix up pretend potions like i did your child within will love the fact that part of your degree is learning how to mix up Real potions. Okay, they're not real potions, they're extracts that are dose dependent and can be really dangerous, but same, same. That's a joke, by the way. I found that when it comes to finding a career or money making endeavor, it really helps to follow what's in your heart. And figuring that out often means looking back into your childhood and what you enjoyed naturally without the pressures of society. I was a fairy garden, cottage core, potion making, magic loving little kid, which is what this channel is about by the way. And that's what made me want to study naturopathy. And it's also what has led me to the opportunities and the experiences that I've had since, even if I didn't finish my degree. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a like. And if you wanna see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and squish the bell icon to set that up. And I'll see you in the next video, bye.